I'm not. As long as you've got the thing where I'm off. That's the pilot. Flight commander. The engineer. And behind me, the, the navigator. We're right now flying out the summit. It's hard to see. There's not much out there. We go on my sheer actually That's my club. That's a lot of that place. Hi guys, we're at Summit. It's about uh, six degrees, about a 25 mile an hour wind. It's snowing. I have the plane, they're offloading fuel. I'm going to turn this camera around a little bit because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to shoot. There's the little thing that says Summit there, and behind it is the power station and their inverters. They have a bunch of skiway grooming equipment, including um, bulldozer and other things. And this is, this is what takes care of the research station. They just launched a weather balloon just a few minutes ago. And they're checking for atmospheric pressure as well as radiation levels at the higher uh, altitudes. All of this stuff came in on a C-130. It's pretty wild. And that's the main building that's over there. And they do a lot of the pressure stuff. I know it's very white, guys, but... The weather seems to be lifting a little bit. You can start to see the blue sky, maybe. Over there's the main building. There's a dome on it. There's a plane in the background. And where they live is that green thing over there. And the power station. Okay, we're inside the... Uh, the greenhouse. The greenhouse. And you say your name again. So I'm uh, Matthias Pio. Okay. Uh, French scientist working in Germany. Great. And uh, let's have a little science tour. So this is our two different labs. Here we can, uh, uh, this is where we prepare all the, uh, the balloon sounds. Mm -hmm. And um, here we have some instruments um, which are related to the Max Noah's there, an instrument uh, which is uh, uh, looking at Chica space compounds mm -hmm. in the atmosphere. And you like Macintosh computers? You like Max? Uh, I don't pro uh, personally, <laughs> but uh, I prefer Windows. But <laughs> we won't tell. <laughs> uh, relaxing. I can show you there. Um, this is the place where we uh, monitor all our instruments. Mm -hmm. So on um, the doors with the spectrometers, lots of computers, and um, now it's quite empty because. Um, it's all prepared for the winter, mm -hmm. and uh, so only science tech people are going to uh, to take care of our instruments during the winter for five years, mm -hmm. and uh, so we can leave with them. And uh, they so you don't have anybody up here in the winter, right? Science tech people stay here. There's really? About a few people staying here in the winter, and um, yeah, and they take care of all the instruments. It's got to be cold up here in the winter. Kind of cold, yeah. It's about minus sixty. Sometimes minus 70. And that's Celsius too. Celsius. Yes. 70 Celsius. So it's very, very, very cold. It's very cold. Um, what else? There we have some uh, medics rooms. Mm -hmm. <coughs> some uh, kitchen. And that's it. Here is uh, all about rooms for us and tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, thank you very much. No problem. All right. Well, here we go, guys. I had to put my neck up on because it's getting really cold outside. Talk to you soon. Well, we're leaving now. They said that we have to get back on the plane. They finished offloading fuel. It is definitely getting colder. But anyway, I wanted you to have one last look. I'm going to rotate around. There's the garage. That that's usually the only thing that's not buried. There's the greenhouse. And there's what they call the big house. That's where they live. And that's where they commune. And the tents are next to them. And there's our ride. Goodbye from Summit.